Okay. I, I, we record. Oh. Sure. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm actually in New Zealand. If, if that, uh, okay. I didn't say that already. So, where yeah. are you? I mean, uh, we're hoping to yeah attract a, a volunteer to uh, to do some project management with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm interested. I'd love to help. So, give me a little bit of your background. Okay, so yeah. my okay, I'll start with my educational background. It has nothing to do with IT or any technical things. I have an MBA in finance. Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> and um, then. I realized that in order to move on in this world, I need to blend my experience with some technical expertise. So I just dived into the uh, technology and I spe got specialized in um, the financial modules of uh, SAP, the yeah. ERP solutions, yeah. So I was doing the system configurations and uh, only configurations, you know, and like a business analyst uh, for the financial solutions of stop distracting me, guys. <laughs> I like the screen. <laughs> the, uh, next screen. Okay. Oh, makes me calm. You know? <laughs> so, yeah, I did that. So, and then I moved uh, to Bahrain and I uh, was handling uh, a project, <laughs> managing the project for ERP, for HR solutions, and for e commerce uh, solutions at the same time. And um, thankfully, they all went live as planned um perfectly no errors no issues and uh, wait yeah. back back up a bit there yeah what was your role you were the project you were the coordinator for it? what was, was the project, the project again? manager i was the project manager for the uh, erp implementation which i will call it the fancy word for it is the digital transformation of the erp uh, in the previous company so in order to do that i had to bring three solutions the erp and the one HR system and one e-commerce system based on the requirements and the business needs. Wow, how long did that take place? Uh, it started in November, 2019. It, um, I finished it in July, like the three solutions went live in July. I'm not gonna hide it. Oh. I'm still working with them remotely from Canada. Um, okay. So now we are in the hypercare support for most of the modules. And we are working on the on developing the KPIs for the operations, and um, we'll see how things will work. Wow! It just no. Are you getting a uh, in touch with God or something? You seem to be getting getting some illumination while uh, wow. while, while she was speaking. Yeah, I thought I would uh, you know fly through the clouds. <laughs> then, yeah, yeah, just, just checking. Well, maybe you, maybe too distracting. Let me let me fix that. <laughs> I, I just, anyway, yeah. How can I play with that too? Wait. Yeah, you don't change your background? <laughs> I, oh yeah, if you want, no. you can click on the bottom left, uh, the little arrow beside the video, uh, and then you choose uh, okay, vir yeah, uh, choose I don't virtual use Zoom background. Usually. I usually use Teams, so yeah, Zoom is a new thing for me. Background and filters. Yeah, I do. I have only two, so I prefer to. Have oh one. yeah, I've added a few lately. You, See, you I'm in the International an Space Station now. You can add an image. Yeah, that will work. That will take some time. So okay, you can no, like, see my background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that background. So what? What? what where are you, sort of? Let's say politically. If what you do you mean? Know. Well, <laughs> that is like a very deep question. <laughs> it is. I mean, yeah. you see. I mean, I can tell that you're already very overqualified for us. Um, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> no, no, believe me, you are. <laughs> okay. Um, but I'm just like, we're, we're kind of a, a rebel lot. Like, we're like the rebel alliance kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Jedi Knights kind of pretend, maybe not. So I'm just wondering in terms of your own politics, like considering the things going on, on the planet right now, where, where does your heart lie? Uh, with myself. I don't, honestly, I don't bother much about what is happening in the world. Like... It's not that I don't care. I feel sad for the sad events and the bad things that are happening, but there's nothing that I can do to change anything. So I just focus on my <laughs> inner growth <laughs> and that's it. Well, so, so if you had a chance to sort of align your work with the bigger picture, knowing that you were contributing, would that be something that you would like? Oh yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, 
that's a good that's a good one yes <laughs> of course if we're any if anything that we can do to contribute to uh, to something good in this world yeah of course that's our mission right to add right. value to this planet that's like, what do you think? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it didn't click into my mind. Okay. <laughs> Noah, you got any questions there? I'm... Um, I mean, uh, no, not like that. I think, uh, you know, I I'm interested in, uh, like, uh, I guess, uh, you know, I, you probably don't have a full sense of what we're doing. We have a lot of uh, different pieces of a, of a large software platform that we're kind of trying to, to roll out and... Yeah, um, I guess to start with, uh, we'd like to put you on a, like a like a test project, and like a real project, but uh, test you out and see if you can, uh, you know, see how you like doing a project management with us. Okay. But okay. I guess the first step would be just to kind of get more understanding of, of you know, what, what projects we're really doing. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm thinking the first thing we could do is... is uh, Elijah could take you through a bit of a, a training process on one of the projects. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then at that point, like we have a few developers working with us uh, to actually develop the projects. And, you know, they're, they're programmers, they're, they're coders, um, you know, but they don't have a, they don't really sometimes have the complete interest in learning all the background behind the project itself, like, mm -hmm. the, you know, the, the actual philosophy yeah. and how it's tell supposed to work. Tell them what they need to do like and that. they'll do it for you. <laughs> Sorry? The developers, just tell them what you need from them and they'll do it, that's it. <laughs> exactly, yeah. And they're real good, but that sometimes they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I can do that. And then the next day they have questions already and, you know, what you, so it's kind of... What are you talking about? We, we just hired them. They, they, you have any... No, it's, it's well, a, yeah, it's, but they're going to need they're they're going to need the project management. That's why we're we're looking for people like okay. This. And in terms of requirements, or what are we like developing? Who feeds the developers with these information? Right. So at at the moment, uh, the you know we're we're directly talking to them at the moment, uh, but that's why we're hoping to get a project manager in so mm -hmm. that uh, they can kind of be a, a go between between the developers and us. Okay. So, I mean, because Elijah's pretty busy and he's getting busier and busier uh, with uh, all the people that we're having to uh, coordinate with. So it, it's beginning to look like that we need, you know, um, some help with that as well. So okay. one of the one of the one of the things would be just coordination with the actual developers on, on behalf of the project. So, you, you know, as a project manager, you kind of like that the idea would be understand the project that, we're, that uh, you're, you know, managing mm -hmm. with us and then uh so that you can be kind of the person to to guide the developers and to you know check up on them make sure they're actually doing what we're what we're you know needing done and ultimately all, all the projects that we're working on do actually connect together but some of them right now are sort of independent tools independent um, products that we're kind of rolling out as standalone things but they do all connect together actually in the grand okay. scheme of things as well and do we have a timeline or schedules or um, is yeah, I mean, one of the projects we're working on right now is basically going out to be fully tested in a couple weeks or less than okay. a couple weeks. Um, and uh, the rest of them, they're kind of, well, we have another one that's already live, um, but we're having a couple of different developers uh, kind of re redress it for us uh, as the look um, needs some work, but functionally it's already up and online. And then we have quite a few other pieces of the puzzle kind of thing that we're, that we're starting to uh, get developers to work on now. Okay, and the business requirements itself, from where does it come? The requirements of, of like Planetary Guardians itself? Like the project that you're talking about, the, 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 the product itself, the specifications of those products, where the does design, it come the, from? The design specs? The design specs, like, is it ready or like, is it there already? It's, it's, I've got 25 years of research and 25 years oh, wow. of design on one idea that actually is quite a few ideas. Okay. And, okay. And so the context is that my friend here was the first programmer to sort of follow my lead mm -hmm. in terms of going, here's, here's, you know, I don't know how to program. I, you know, my, my tech background, isn't that great? I know it enough to sort of build things, but that's about it. And it's all conceptual. 
it's all maps. It's, okay. It's a lot of conceptual maps. That's the mm -hmm, basic mm -hmm, design mm -hmm. that we have. And, and so we started working on it, actually quite a few projects over the last year. And uh, Noah is actually going to school and has his own game that he's created that uh, he launched at the same time as we're doing this thing a little bit. Um, so he's run out of time, essentially. He, he ran out of time a while ago. And right now he's just finishing off this software that's like a chat room that you can program with conversation types and goals. Very mm -hmm. specific where you're going mission to mission to get okay. a team of people led by a facilitator to actually accomplish a goal. So it's not okay. just random chat rooms, it's very specific chat room. And so we're, we've created this sort of back end where you can take a facilitator to it. What we have is 12 facilitators. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take 144 people through seven missions starting in about a week, two oh, weeks. Wow. So that's in the background. At the same time, we've both been saying, we need some help, we need some help, we need some help. And we figured out a way to get a bunch of people. And all of a sudden we have a bunch of people, like we've actually got seven developers that are ready to go. Uh, and I've got pieces of the puzzle to bring forward. But again, Noah's in this position of he's the only guy who understands kind of what I'm doing but he's run out of time. And so he's kind of like at the IT manager level. Mm -hmm. And that at some, like once this gets going, then we can, he can fulfill whatever role he wants. But I mean, just right now we need someone who's very interested, let's say in big picture design of all the pieces is more, you'll be talking with me most of the time mm -hmm. and coordinating with him to make sure, but, but you, you're sort of like mid management tier of all the developers that, you'll be tracking and making sure that, and, okay. and, and also having a sort of like, just what you did with the other stuff, there's a lot of pieces to this puzzle. And for you to sort of start to get an idea of mm -hmm. what the pieces are, and then for us to create a channel where I sort of, I'd love just to hand you the map, uh, maybe the digital version of the map, and you just take it and run with it. Mm. Because that's most of my special specialty is just sitting there designing interfaces. Yeah. And uh, we need to sort of set up the old system to start to get these things going. And we see every map is almost its own revenue stream or its own product team. Okay. So I, yeah. Each map I is a very understand. powerful piece, but there's there could be let's say twenty interfaces. But the mm -hmm. way we're looking at does it like there's a few ways we're looking at changing software one is designing in circles and two that you know the, the user at some point is going to be custom designing their interface okay in a manner that it matches and then what we have is a whole series of interfaces that connects all the pieces together and okay that's, so hmm. you're, you're walking into something with high potential but again like startup startup of the, the bootstring startup story yeah, so it doesn't matter how we prioritize those products, it won't have any impact. I know that there are the independent, but again, there is no dependent. We don't have to finish this on this time and then make sure that this we can start parallelly, whatever gets done within yeah, the limited yeah, resources that we have, we need to prioritize the task. So if we work on two projects at the time and then start adding the other products, just to make sure that we have a clear schedule on what is happening and how we are going to achieve these goals. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, I get. I guess. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I guess you're kind of you're getting a sense of what what we're what we're working on here. We do have quite a lot of uh, you know, projects to, to actually roll out. Mm. So. I guess we're, we're hoping someone might be able to put in like three, four hours a week kind of thing. That's what we were talking about before. Well, the, and, and that to me is more as a minimum because if you really, I think what you'll, at some point, I think you're gonna get really excited because we're sort of building something called a shared knowledge community. And what this okay. is, 12 originators. So that's like kind of like 12 inventors, all who mm -hmm. have sort of new knowledge fields, 12 entrepreneurs, 12 coaches, 12 tech gurus, 12 artists, 12 healers, 12 planetary guardians, 12 illuminators or marketers, 12 mediators, 12 facilitators, 12 youth and 12 elders. Okay. That, that creates 144 people 
And so this software that we're coming out with is basically 12 facilitators, the ones in the middle, then create the 12 teams. Mm. So it's, it's like as the corporation is the cell to the old paradigm, the shared knowledge community is going to be a cell for a new paradigm. Okay. So we're actually creating gonna build. a okay. whole new system. That's, okay. the, that's the aim. We, we are that radical. But we're, we're, but we're doing it in little pieces yeah. which, which form together. And this thing is like the energy wheel. And I think from your MBA, MBA experience, it's basically a, a, a holistic model where you've got research, infrastructure, learning, operations, creativity, synergy, services, marketing, stewardship, mm. and communication. Now, learning might be like HR, synergies like customer services, creativity is like product development, mm. uh, stewardship is management. So it's kind of like <clears throat> taking the old paradigm words, putting them on a circle, creating a universal business system. And then what we have here is a way to, to input value systems. Mm. The green conduits can be programmed and they're programmed with values. And that's one of the pieces that we're, we just started working on where um, this interface is kind of like, again, like on the web, you put in your values, you you, it could either be random or chosen. And that's a big piece. Like we're working with divination a lot. Mm. Uh, we'll start with the non-random and then maybe move it for, to random. Well, yeah, it, it, but what we've seen is there's a there's an incredible beauty to having a randomness to something where you put a question and you get an answer. That's in the choose a remedy. We have a, a after this, I, I think we'll get to, we'll show you what the first program choose a remedy dot com, which okay. is a, a divination program that you have a question and then you get these three cards. And that's another side. I'm just coming out with this card set that's about to enter the market. So we have a card set that's physical called the Conscious Communication Card Set. Mm -hmm. It actually has six different decks and can organize any job, any organization, any community. So okay. It's, it's, it's a business, holistic business thinking system put on cards. And then from a divination angle, you can ask a question and then you get a value, a conversation type and a, and a concept. Do you want to bring the, bring that one up? Uh, yeah. Can you make me a screen share? Screen yeah. share? Yeah, okay. Sorry for jumping around a bit, but there's a lot to sort of download. Okay. Yes, you can have a banana. Yeah, go pick a banana. Sorry, my one of my kids wants a banana. Um, <laughs> how do you okay. pronounce, how do you pronounce your name? Nashla. Najla, mm -hmm. Najla, Najla. Yeah, it's an Arabic name. <laughs> uh, and you're you're actually living in Vancouver now, aren't you? Yeah. What? Okay. Really? Yeah. Holy shoot! <laughs> Whereabouts in town you live? Where about what? Where Where in town do you live? Like what? Which uh, part of the city? Um, Riley Park, eighty. I don't know how how much do you know in Vancouver? Yeah. Yeah, so you know Queen Elizabeth Park? Elizabeth Park. I should know that one. Queen Elizabeth Park. Queen Elizabeth, yeah. QE Park. Yeah, I so should. I'm very well known in Vancouver. So I just live there like 10 minutes away. But which area of town? Give me another street. Um, Main Street. Main Street, like 39th. 40th up there? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm living on 39, uh, on uh, 41st and Main. Okay, so the nice, the beautiful park on your right there that's... Uh, exactly. That has... Yeah. The... Queen Elizabeth is just like... Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm at, I'm at Arbutus in King Edward. Oh, okay. It's, uh, it's not too far. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, because I, I think maybe if we could sit down for a coffee or something... Sure. I could... It takes a lot to show a bunch of stuff to you, so. Sure, sure, no problem. I don't have any problem with that. Okay. Um, so just real quick, while we're still here, I'll, I'll just we could just run you through kind of one of the things. This one is already live, um, and we're getting a couple different front end developers right now to 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 design alternate looks for it, so that you know, you know, people always want options to look different. Um, but essentially, this is uh, one of the systems that involves uh, the card the card set. Uh, okay. So. 
So this is sort of a, a divination system. If you're familiar with that idea, like tarot cards and this sort of thing, mm -hmm. it, basically that you can ask a question uh, in a number of different ways um, and it will give you a, an answer, um, you know, effectively a random answer, um, but for people who don't believe in, in random, um, you know, and for people who want kind of, you know, just an answer to a question, um, it, this will give them one. I'll, I'll, it's kind of easier if I just pick a question and you know, oh, no, see. Don't, so don't, say, do, don't do the pick a question one, do the write a question. Oh, do the, the which one, sorry? The, uh, put write a question in and say, what's the best connection point with Najala? Najala? Najala. 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 Okay. So this is this is always the same three, and the first the value programs intention. If you look at the combo type in the middle investigation, you have intention at the top and attention on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So the value is more like from your heart, the intention that you put into it, and then the lens is where you place your attention. Okay. So you're in a conversational field. So we're in an investigation. So what this is telling me is to find out about your love of the arts. Mm -hmm. Okay. And to <laughs> investigate, ask some questions. Like, what, what is your connection to the arts? Like, how, how much does this connect to your heart? Uh, yeah, I enjoy it, but I'm not like a person who would enjoy doing it. I enjoy just seeing it. Okay. Or, yeah. <laughs> What's I your... appreciate it, but I don't, I don't have that uh, side of me where I'm not artistic in myself. So I, I appreciate the art. Do you? What's your favorite art? Um. Oh, see, I'm not connected at all. Well, I'd say literature. I wouldn't go too much to, uh, to that. Yeah, literature would be fine, but I don't enjoy it in any other language but mine. It's very weird, but yeah. <laughs> uh, Rumi, I understand that. <laughs> poems of Rumi. I love the room. I love Rumi. Yeah. Ah. Yes. <laughs> he is very good, actually. So I mean, that's just a a little show of going. Sometimes we don't know how to talk to somebody. Sometimes mm. we don't know how to approach something, and so you come here. You, you ask there's you know a whole bunch of different questions you can ask but this is always a good one um and then it just gives a new approach it changes the way you think it changes how you speak to somebody and so yeah, okay let me ask you what is the use of this like who will use it at the end well it, it can almost be anybody i mean it's just i think women from 40 to 60 okay are probably more, but but even young women in their early twenties use Oracle decks a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is more business focused, though the language is business focused, and since this is again connected to, at some point there's going to be a button below, create a chat room, click. Okay. And then you go through a process of taking this stuff and programming the chat room, and then you can invite people in to actually answer the question. Mm. So okay. it's. It's like looking at how do you, how do you stimulate conversations online, and how do you answer questions? Like we, mm. we want to transform the art of communication online because there's so many great texts out there, but people still don't have much training. Yeah. And so the combo type, the cards, are actually offline cards that you can use for divination in tons of ways, and they're like training tools. Mm -hmm. to, to assist people to be more conscious in their communication and learning like some people they don't even know what an investigation is they don't know how to ask questions they don't yeah. know how to get they don't know how to find the root of what is necessary in a conversation so True. there's 72 conversation types and i think from your background of an mba that's more the people that are going to kind of really go after this kind of idea because it's conceptual maps it's mm -hmm. business thinking mm -hmm. systems right it's people who are 
using abstract theory to try to understand business. Yeah. Nova, did you want to say something? Um, I mean, no, I think you're explaining it quite well. And I think actually, uh, you know, the first part of, the, of, of kind of what you're, what we were hoping you could do is to literally uh, talk to Elijah back and forth for a while about, about this, whether it's, you know, over coffee, a different meeting or right now. Um, and yeah, kind of get a sense of, of better sense of the picture. Um, I'm feeling like perhaps I should duck out at this point. Uh, I, I actually have another meeting with okay. uh, where I'm interviewing a, 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 another person in, in a few minutes. Um, okay. But I guess, how do you feel about this? Uh, like, uh, do you want to do you want to continue here with Elijah, or do you want to make a coffee date or something, or or just to pick this up again in a different Zoom meeting? I'm you, I'm open to either. I'm fine with both the suggestions. So why don't we continue on? Um, we'll check in later, and I think we'll just go a little deeper in and just see see the interest. Okay. okay. Um, so yeah, if that works for you, I will leave you with Elijah then. Uh, the only difference is you're, I'm going to have to give you back the host Elijah and then uh, okay. you're, you're going to have to put up the, the various uh, screens to share if you wish. Okay. Uh, and okay. Uh, so yeah, Najla, it's great to meet you. <laughs> Sorry, I've got to run. Uh, no, it's okay. It's a great we'll meeting. We'll definitely see each other again, I think. Yeah. And, sure. uh, yeah, I'm super curious to see how this works out as well. Yeah, me too, actually. It's very interesting. <laughs> okay, well. All right, we I don't know what is like the time here in New Zealand. <laughs> I want to say have a good night or have a good day. I'm not sure. Uh, it's uh, 9.30 a.m. here. A.m.? Oh, you have a great day. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> okay, well, you do. <laughs> thank you. All right. Bye-bye. I'm just trying to figure out how to leave. Ah, okay. Okay. So you, you had a lot of info in a short amount of time. Yeah. Is, is it, uh, <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, compared to everyone else, I mean, this, you know, you're the first project manager we, we, we've answered to, but this is the first interview with the first project manager. So, okay. Um, I, I, I'm open to explore. Like the thing is, I have to sort of train a lot of people. I got to train everybody. Yeah. And I have to sort of get people to the point where they even understand what I'm talking about so they can actually do what they're doing in a sense, right? Yeah. So like things will become clearer as you talk about it. The concept, I, I can see it. It's all here in your brain. Yeah. I don't know if, do you have any documentation? It's that's my that's my weakest point. Yeah, because you know, if you're gonna do this to each and every person that you interview or train, it's gonna be so hard to transfer the knowledge. I know. <laughs> yeah. So maybe no, that, just gather maybe, everybody in one room and then explain it to everybody at the same time. It would be easier for you. But I can tell it's all here. You're such a smart person. <laughs> well, a lot of focused work. Um, yeah. And this is. This is the main timing mechanism. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the purple, that's your okay. lifetime. Do you, are, have you ever studied astrology at all? Uh, no, but I know like, I just know my, my own, uh, uh, what is it called? Your sun horoscope. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. What's, so that's the only thing that I care about. <laughs> do you, do you, do you mind if I look up your birth chart? No, go ahead. So I, I need your, your birth date. Uh, April 7th, 19, do you need the year? Yeah. 89. <laughs> Gee, wizards. <laughs> what time? Uh, seven, that's what I know. It's seven, 7 eight, p.m. PM. PM. Yeah. And which city? Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Holy, mm -hmm. Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> Um, is there anything else I need? Okay, so I'll, I'll check out your birth chart. So to me, there's there's a lot of uh, unique self-exploration in what this is. It's, it's a transformative system. Okay. And so to even begin to understand, your mind is going to have a little bit of a, Wah! but I think because of your MBA background, 
you have the old paradigm business structures. Mm -hmm. What this is, is again, it's, it's based on circles and it's based upon this as cyclical time. And what we're okay. looking at bring together is cyclical time and levels of consciousness. Hmm. And I'm just wondering, okay. do you have a, what, what would be your background in levels of consciousness? Like, what does that mean to you? And do you have any reference point through some worldview mechanism for that? I'm not sure. See, but I've like, I've read the book Inner Engineering. So <laughs> okay. um, I pretty much meditate to get to the different level of consciousness. Oh, nice. But yeah, so I'm not like, there yet but i i yeah i'm still uh, taking the baby steps okay. so yeah okay okay so if you look the purple is the mm. is the zodiac and basically mm -hmm. your birth chart can fit on there okay so, so what this does the time translator brings together different models into one sort of system mm -hmm. that, that has time as the main reference point because as the body is to space time is to the mind Mm -hmm. body, space is to the body time is to the mind okay that's a huge kind of reference point in terms of really how do we look at organizing our mind right mm. and so the blue is a year and it has 13 moons on it okay the aquamarine is one moon and then the green is one day okay so you've got a day fitting inside one of these things mm -hmm. and then one of these things is fitting inside one of these things and then this, you know, we have uh, many, the, the outer you, circle. how many years you have in your lifetime, whatever, right? So yeah. it's bringing it's bring together this very long term, your whole life, right? Most people, they don't even look at their whole life. Mm -hmm. And then yearly, lunar, daily. And then here, you see these symbols. Have you ever seen these symbols before? No. These are from the Mayan calendar. Okay. Have you ever I've, heard of the, the Mayan I've calendar? I've heard about the Mayan calendar, yeah. But I've so, never seen these symbols. Okay, so Jose Arguez was a sort of a, in some ways a prophet, in some ways somebody who went against the grain of the Mayan elders, because there's there's mm -hmm. two counts. There's the Mayan elder count and there's the dream spell. This this is from the dream spell by this Jose Arguez because he sort of brought the Mayan <coughs> calendar to the West. He wrote mm -hmm. a number of books that were just brilliant, uh, bringing in the mathematical significance of their calendar systems, which was very advanced, very cyclical, very circlical. And okay. so what this is doing is bringing in this worldview into, again, it's called the time translator. So it's, it's kind of like a translation device. Okay. And, and the idea is that the, the Mayans were connected to galactic time. They were actually star travelers Hmm. encoded the mathematics into the rocks into the stones hmm. and the, and their worldview or their their understanding goes back billions of years through the evolution of consciousness and they have it all mapped out in a oh. manner that's just brilliant but yeah i can't yeah, imagine it's it's not within you know it's just slowly coming into mainstream thought like it like the year 2012, right? There was a lot of talk about the year 2012 and that's where the mind yeah. calendar really started to get focus and attention. So what I, I've been doing is integrating models, is looking at how to connect all these pieces of the puzzle into one whole system. And that whole system is called the inflow matrix operating system. Matrix. Information okay. flowing in a matrix. Nice, okay. So, the 20 is, if you look at there's 20 amino acids, mm. 20 has a significance as a number that is like four plus 16. Okay. Where you have four, and then if you have a four at each point of the four, that's 16, which makes 20. It's the, mm. first, it's the first time a tetrahedron becomes whole again. Oh, so, okay. So the number 20 has this, like, why 20 amino acids? Like, there has to be something really deep down fundamental at the laws of the universe around why there's 20 and mm. that's and th what i've been working with is there's a real significance to number and that's you know the esoteric knowledge 
sort of platforms have always said this, but the normal mundane corporate world doesn't really acknowledge the old civilization spiritual systems. Hmm. And, and so to me, one of the, re the way we are off or out of alignment is we're out of alignment with natural law. We're out of alignment with ways of the universe. Yeah. And, and so you want to bring in an operating system that takes that into account. Understood. And, and that's why, again, building a whole new system with this is the background timing mechanism for the whole thing. So if we look at the yellow, that's seasonal. Okay. Okay. And each one of these symbols is actually a person. Mm -hmm. each, like if we put your birth date in, we can get a Mayan calendar. You are one of these symbols on this map. Okay. And each symbol is impacted by the four outer circles? Well, yes, in a sense that you, as a member, let's say, of this team, have a lifetime cycle, yearly cycle, lunar cycle, daily cycle. Mm. All these cycles apply to all of us. Okay. And we're creating the same reference point in software mm. to create the connection point in our minds. Okay. So we're creating an internal thinking system that then is mirrored in the filing system and mirrored in the infotech filing system. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're bringing together quite a, quite a few things here. The pink is an hour. Okay. Orange is minutes. Red is the present moment. Okay. And then magnet in the middle is, is timelessness. Oh, okay. So the timelessness is the place where you start to bring in levels of consciousness. Mm. Because wherever you meditate or whatever your process is, you know, it's generally it's a time, you know, in the present moment now, but then you're through your breathing or your attention, you're raising your frequency or your vibration, right? Yeah. So this map is distinguishing that. It's distinguishing the difference between normal present moment awareness that we're just in, which mm -hmm. a lot of traditions say be here now, be present. Yes. Versus timelessness. Yeah. So that, so that is giving the mind a distinction between those places and changing from, again, time in a cyclical nature to sort of timelessness. So mm. the, mo the model itself is bridging cyclical time and levels of consciousness, which is something I, I haven't seen out there. Yeah. It's very complex to understand it. That's why it's not there. <laughs> no, I, yeah, it, it takes... Uh, some people with some level of consciousness to realize this distinction between timelessness and being in the present time. Yes, yes. So, so again, looking at the project management level, mm. there's, we, we know, we, we right now have two products that are close, one that's about to be tested and one that's already built but needs to be kind of be redone. And then we got a whole bunch that are sort of in the wings needing to be built. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's more creating the process of going from map, to digital interface, to the programming, the testing, yes. to, to the world. So this sounds like something you've already done, right? That yeah, is, that's the uh, product life cycle, let's say, or yeah. project life cycle, yeah. Yeah, so I think the most important thing would, would be for me and you to work together and, and Nova, to create that, that product life cycle mm -hmm. uh, within the infotech and sort of like building the software company. And then, you know, that's, so that, that, that's at the level which, which you'd be working. Yeah, I, I understood. Uh, since we have the map, we need to break it down into products, but I think you have already done that. And then identify the link between each and every product to identify the dependencies and then prioritize. And with the given number of resources, we need to do our schedules so to, to know when we can put this resource on this product and et cetera, and then start rolling out uh, to the next phases of the project of development and then testing, training, and closing the going live. <laughs> so I know it's massive. Um... Are you, so you're cur currently working with the company. Mm -hmm. So you got your your money needs kind of taken care of in a sense. Yes, no, so, no worries about that. Right, but I mean, you're not on the verge of starvation kind of thing. No, no, no. 
So, because like the, the idea is we raise funds and we're, these are revenue streams that are coming in. And then the people that have been working in the beginning, you know, get the jobs, get the, get the, get the yeah, get the first sort of like dibs at what's happening. And mm -hmm. so, um, I don't know if you'd ever, you know, what your relationship, I, I'm sure that other job is paying you very well or something. So, but anyway, so the, well, it's a, not, it's not so well, but it's a contract. Like it's, a, it's, it will end by the end of this year. So it's not like a, it's a constant uh, source okay. of income. Yeah. Okay. Well then that, if it's the end of the year, I guess a great idea would be to get our things going. So by the time that ends, then something. Here yeah. We can have. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, so, I mean, I just, it isn't just volunteer. It is now, but it's the aim is to actually you know, create something amazing, which is, and very lucrative. And uh, I would love everyone who, who helps to do very well in terms of that, yeah. right? Like the people at the beginning of Microsoft, people at the beginning of anything big, they do re really well. Like they, yeah. they basically retire, right? So um, I would like that it's to part happen. Part of a big thing, yeah. Yeah. I'm interested. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so in terms of the amount of time it's gonna take to get ready over the next kind of let's say three months mm. um anyway i mean it, it's going to be up to you i guess to pace yourself right yeah 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 you don't have to like once i'm committed i'm committed you don't have to worry about that yeah okay yeah and if they're in need of any financial support i'll just come back to you and say yeah i cannot volunteer anymore <laughs> find right. me something <laughs> right yeah okay um because just so you know, like we got seven new people who just started, who are okay. sort of like at Noah's just setting them up with something or not. So we're we're just coming into, um, you know, the, the next level high organization of of management. Okay. So and, and so you're, you're the next question. Yes. So these are all developers. Yeah. Okay. So the qualifications of them, um, like they're good. We don't know okay we're, we're testing them out okay okay, okay. i mean, I mean I like i didn't go into the the every once in a while i kind of zeal out and go into the big picture you know planetary guardian kind of mm -hmm. thing you know they're not that interested you know they, they just want the work to go in their cv right that's the attitude i think right now yeah okay I, i'm not so i really like people that are in there for the political side that really want to change the world but it doesn't have to be right it's, it's well, uh, you need to start your your business too, so it's okay. Yeah. Eventually, it, it will be a mutual benefit for both parties, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There, there is. I just um, my thing is kind of like getting things to the next level of um, readiness, right? And a lot of sort of graphic design and stuff that you know I'm okay with. But obviously, you know, I'm I'm like the inventor kind of guy who's who's trying to do everything who you know needs to give it up. Yeah. <laughs> so um, sometimes that's a bit hard, uh, but we'll see, right? Like, yeah, yeah. For uh, for this project, you're gonna be our user. So yeah. you just tell us what you need, and we will make sure that it is delivered. At the time that we tell you it is delivered, it will be delivered. That's how projects work. <laughs> really? Well, I can't wait to yeah. see that one. I mean, me and no, me and Nova have been sort of uh, like it's 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 beautiful for me to be able to hand the work to someone who actually can program it. Like Nova's been amazing, and yeah, and but again, he sort of he he went overboard. <laughs> He's you wouldn't believe it. He didn't even tell me he had this game. And he spent like, it's a beautiful game. I actually started playing it. Oh, and, wow. and for the last six months, I've been playing this game, like more, spending tons of time. And Nova built the whole thing, design built. And it's an online game of planets where you're sort of like in charge of the planet. And then you sort of uh, build ships, you build uh, colonies. It's, it's like, I played major games before and it's, it's like they have massive teams building these massive games. And he did it all by himself and, and it was brilliant. And it's actually brilliant. He didn't even tell me about it. And then he's launching at the same time we're trying to get the Remedy program going. And then the last second he goes, oh yeah, by the way, I got this game, da, da, da. So we're both a bit crazy in terms of, uh, 
the, 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 real, <laughs> the realism side of things. So yeah. you're, you're um, and again, his game, you know, I think does, I love playing it. Um, it's another product, you know. Um, Out there. That's, that's already. That, that, what is it called? It's called the Game of Planet, Game of Planets. I'm going to check it out. Um, I'll send a message to Noah to to get a link. I'm not sure, like there's, we, we're going to probably be starting a new game at some point, which I, I'd love to get everyone on the team in it. Okay. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's brilliant. Like I just, you know, you, you, you can play it in the background. Mm. Like, you know, like there's a lot of waiting periods. You have to sort of, uh, so it's something you can do some work, pop it in and then, have you ever played games online or? Uh, when I was younger, <laughs> yeah, I don't have the time for games right now, so <laughs> I miss yeah. that. But like my brother is very into the, the uh, I don't know even the name of those games, but he spends hours. You know, he made fun of my family and he convinced my mom like he is, uh, he said, I'm going to build my own computer. Okay. For you, this means that you're going to bring old PCs and then take the devices and build a new one. He purchased each and every device, like a new device from the market, and he just put them together to make his computer. So I was like, this is not building. This is just collecting and just <laughs> putting a, a right. device together. But for my family, he's like, he did it. He built his own computer. So he's, he got to spend all the hours. Nobody's talking to him, and he's just doing games. <laughs> <laughs> How old is he? He just graduated high school. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that age. <laughs> Where are your parents? Palestine. Wow. Oh, yeah. Are you Palestinian? Yes. Oh, what? <laughs> well, I mean, if we're looking at hot spots, we're looking at places that need to be reformed. Uh, you know, that's I what the, that's the question when you said politically it went directly to my country and I just don't like to you know argue about it much because it conflicts with so bad with so many beliefs that are for me that are biased or wrong so I don't like to argue much <laughs> right yeah. well I, I would say that I I have a I don't know how good my understanding is but I certainly know insan you know complete insanity it is complete and so much lying and so much you know it's it's just like any oppressive state right they just that's the problem we got all these oppressive states that are, yeah. that are horrible to people yeah it's always controlled by the strong so at this point or not at this point only we have always been the weak part aside of it so yeah it's tough to just convince people that no what you see is not the right thing that is happening it's very hard to change people's mind so yeah good stuff <laughs> well i mean there's a i think it's uh i think it means something that, that you're in the position you are so you know, i uh i guess we'll just see we'll see what happens right yeah i hope i'll have the impact <laughs> well i mean i i think you have a, a you seem like someone who can roll with the punches and kind of Deal with my eccentricity. So that's <laughs> true. <laughs> a little bit true. <laughs> and that that for me is huge. And so um uh, I'd love you to work on, on this. This would be great. I'd love that too. I'll uh yeah, I'm in. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. so it's um if you want, we could meet this week. Sure, if, okay. If you want to meet. Um do you want to set up a time or? Um, let me. Thursday, Thursday at like this time would be fine. Thursday at this time. Thursday at two. Thursday at two, yeah. Thursday at two, okay. Would that be okay? Yeah, that fits. Um. Just wondering. Is there a chance you can come over here? What is your exact exact location? Let Let's, me look it up. 
2275 West 23rd. So you have like a phase nearby, 227? Is it, is it 2375 or 2275? Essentially it's near King Edward and 20, King Edward and 23rd. I just, it's just at my house. I have all of the, I have a lot of the tools. And if, if I, if I go to a coffee shop, it's, it's sort of like, <laughs> it's like bring two big bags and, and just, <laughs> I, I just, anyway, would you be okay coming over here? I prefer a coffee shop. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, maybe you don't need to bring all your tools if you have, oh, you don't have things documented, do you? Like a, a virtual version of, or software? Well, I think, no, there's a lot. Of, yeah, there's a lot I can say. What's your email? It's uh, N-A. N-A. My first name, N-A-J-L-A-A. N-A-J-A. L-A-A. Najla, my first name. Okay, N A J A L A A. Okay. N A J L J L A A. Okay, dot K M. Dot K M. Ten at gmail dot com. I'm a bit dyslexic. N A J L A A dot K M at Gmail. No, K M okay. 10. K M 10. Do you want me to type it in the chat? K M 10? Yeah, I'll just type it here for K M 10 at gmail.com. It's a little embarrassing at times you design the sophisticated yeah. system and I can't even take down an email, right? No, it's okay. Okay, and I hope. You know, I understand coffee shop be better. I mean, it's, um, yeah, I will be the coffee shop. Okay. So just let me know uh, the name. Well, how about, how about that, um, the grind? The grind uh, near you? No, it's King Edward, Maine. I think it's near you too. Okay. Um, the grind. The grind coffee is it? That's what is it yeah. called? Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. Where is money? I cannot find it. Um, can you can you go to maybe to King Edward, in Maine, and see if there's a coffee shop? Maybe it's called, uh, maybe it's not the grind. It maybe was called the grind before. Um, let's see if I can. Let me see the map one second. Oh no, it's Aperture, I think. Yeah, I see this one. Aperture? Mm hmm Yeah, that one. Okay. But it's in, okay. Yeah, it's on Main Street, right? Yeah. Okay. Just yeah, are we you, can meet there. Are you, are you a vaxxer or non-vaxxer? I am uh, first dose vaxxer. You're okay if I'm a non-vaxxer? Yeah, I was not willing to, to be vaccinated, but pressure. <laughs> it's amazing, eh? Yeah. Family pressure? Actually business, um, like I got a couple of, because I'm looking for jobs here. Mm -hmm. So I got a couple of interviews and at the end of every interview, the question is, are you vaccinated? Are you willing to come back to offices? And I was like, yeah but no, not vaccinated. Oh yeah, okay, thank you, bye-bye. So they're okay. looking for people that are well, vaccinated say, who are able to join, you know, immediately. I would say we're the opposite here. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I understand. <laughs> yeah. So I, I wouldn't believe, mind, yeah. I don't believe in the force of anything to do that. I, I mean, 
I completely understand. Like, I don't believe, I, I, I didn't want to be part of this, you know, experimental <laughs> trial or whatever it's called, but now I am. So let's see how things will work. Okay. Okay, so I'll, I'll send you some stuff through email. Okay. Um, and I think I might send you, I have this series of maps in seven modules. It's the beginning of kind of like the training. Mm -hmm. And each of these maps is going to be an interface in the software system. Okay. So it's, it's, um, I'll send you those to give you a bit of a back, like, because those will be probably the next steps towards okay. getting, like, once these two pr projects are going, these are some other. I'm going to give you a piece of advice. Yeah. Because you are dealing with developers and uh, a lot of people. It's better to, before sending or sharing these details, to sign an NDA, like an undisclosure agreement with these people, um, just to protect your uh, your work. I know, I know. Let's talk about that because I'm, I sort of, I'm. I'll tell you, I have a lot of. Okay. To say about that, I and I. Eh. I I understand, but we live in this world where ideas are just. I know. Well, I I, I, I think. I think once you see it, like this is going to be a pretty hard idea to steal. They can steal parts of it, and if they even if they steal it, it's going to work out well in the long run. In a sense, like you'll see that people don't like. They're, <laughs> this is so different, so okay. so outside of most people's thinking that. Okay. Well, it's it's just a suggestion. That's what. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I would, yeah. And and I I appreciate the the focus on security and. Of course, yeah. So wonderful to meet you. Same here. Yeah, and... yeah. I'll see you on Thursday. Okay. All right. Okay. Have a good day.